Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. In 2025, Huawei's technological bomb shocked the world, the new generation of Kirin 9020 chip was born. This 7 nanometers chip, which is completely made in China, not only broke the industry record, but also slapped the face of the US technology blockade. Simply put, the United States has been blocking chip technology from Huawei since 2019, trying to cut off Huawei's food supply. Unexpectedly, Huawei not only did not fall, but instead forcibly found a new way and used its own chips to prove what putting death in the end means. Let's first look at the background of this matter. In 2019, the United States implemented a multi-level blockade on Huawei, restricted the export of 5G technology, cut off the supply of high-end chips, and prohibited companies using US technology from cooperating with Huawei. At that time, many people felt that Huawei really couldn't stand it this time. After all, in the field of chips, the United States has the right to speak, not only with advanced technology, but also with a firm control of the global market in the industrial chain. However, Huawei did not give up on itself, but chose to start from scratch and do research and development on its own. In recent years, Huawei has experienced unprecedented challenges. Chip design requires top talents, huge financial support, and time accumulation. More importantly, the hard guys, such as lithography machines, EDA design tools, and materials for chip production, have also been strangled by the United States. What Huawei can do is to upgrade the industrial chain while gnawing on the hard bones. In 2025, the advent of Kirin 9020 is the answer sheet handed in by Huawei. The significance of this 7 nanometers chip lies not in its process technology, but in its complete localization. In plain words, this chip is completely completed from design to production with China's own technology, equipment and materials, without using any American things. Although the 7 nanometers process is still behind TSMC's 3 nanometers, Kirin 9020 has achieved overtaking on the curve in AI performance. Data shows that the AI computing power of this chip has increased by 300% compared with the previous generation, directly refreshing industry expectations. What's more interesting is that behind this chip is actually the rise of the entire Chinese semiconductor industry chain. From lithography machines to EDA tools, to key materials, Chinese companies have overcome countless technical difficulties in recent years. Huawei is no longer fighting alone, but has joined forces with more than 2,000 local companies to conduct research and development. Just like playing chess, the United States blocked a point, and China used the entire industrial chain to lay out a game. In fact, the advent of Kirin 9020 is not only a technological breakthrough, but also a psychological shock. It tells the world that Chinese chips can not only withstand external suppression, but also live better in extreme environments. Some Western analysts have begun to get nervous, worrying that the rapid rise of Chinese chips will break the balance of the global technology industry. Since 2019, the United States blockade strategy was originally intended to weaken Chinese technology companies, but it forced out a stronger Huawei. This incident is like a tug of war. Huawei was not only not pulled down, but dragged its opponent back with a stronger rope. To put it bluntly, the US blockade policy did bring difficulties to Huawei in the short term, but in the long run, it has become a catalyst for Huawei's rise. The emergence of Kirin 9020 not only allowed Huawei to gain a firm foothold in the global technology competition, but also made many industry insiders full of expectations for the future of China's semiconductor industry. According to relevant forecasts, China may achieve full independence in chip technology five to eight years ahead of schedule. 
This speed makes people have to admire the resilience and innovation of Chinese companies. At the same time, Huawei continues to lay out in other cutting-edge technology fields, such as quantum computing, artificial intelligence, 6G, etc. According to statistics, the number of Huawei's related patent applications has ranked among the top in the world. Some analysts even believe that Kirin 9020 is just a clear card of Huawei, and its real Trump card may be more shocking. In addition, with the advent of Kirin 9020, the enrollment of domestic colleges and universities in related majors has also begun to surge, and some colleges and universities have even seen a chip fever. It can be said that this chip is not only a technological achievement, but also drives the upgrade of the entire industrial chain and education system. This incident made me think about many issues. First of all, the reason why Huawei can rise in adversity is not only due to technological accumulation, but also a spirit of not admitting defeat. Faced with blockades, many companies may choose to compromise, but Huawei chose to go head to head. Secondly, this incident also illustrates a truth, technological blockades are not omnipotent. Although the US blockade policy is effective in the short term, in the long run, it makes Chinese companies more united and more focused on independent research and development. Finally, this incident also made me see the huge potential of China's technological development. From Kirin 9020 to the improvement of the entire industrial chain, China is breaking through technological bottlenecks in its own way. This development model not only benefits domestic technology companies, but also brings new possibilities to the global industrial chain. Huawei has told the world with its actual actions, a technological blockade may temporarily hinder a company, but it will never make it lose its fighting spirit. The US blockade policy seems tough, but in fact it is a free stress test for its opponents. But the question is, will Huawei's success completely break the balance of the global technology industry? We can only wait and see. The emergence of Kirin 9020 is indeed a source of pride, but I still can't help but ask, who is hurt by the US blockade? Is it Huawei, or itself? When a company can find a way out in a desperate situation, how should its opponents respond? Will the future technological competition become a circular game of blockade breakthrough blockade again? These questions are worth pondering for each of us.